Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your ping, packet loss and internet connection while playing Fortnite. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can help you guys individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is always use Ethernet. Ethernet is wired internet connection that can help you to pump internet directly to your PC without any wireless transmission. This will help your internet to be transmitted to your PC in a very faster medium than being connected via dongle. So once again, you can get a wired internet connection from your router to your PC via LAN. So I would always recommend you guys to use it. Before moving ahead, I want to introduce you all to Pandora AI Image Generator, a strong tool that can generate from anime to sci-fi every avatar with just your photos. Unlike other AI generators, Pandora can create up to 200 images by using just 5 photos, making it one of the most efficient AI generator in the market. If that's not enough, you can even animate your favorite anime characters and it works like a charm. Here I drag some of my pictures and now it takes just 15 minutes to generate some cool avatars. Once it is done, you will get an email and here are the results. It's just so amazing that I just kept it as my other channel's profile pic. By the way, if you haven't subscribed it, go do it already. The best part is you can do it from the website from any device. To get your own avatars, click the link in the description below and enter the world of your own fantasy right away. And with all that said, let's move to the video. Step number two is use a 5G network connection whenever it is possible since 5G internet connection is much faster and has a higher broadband than the other network connection. So if it is possible, always switch to a 5G internet connection. Step number three is updating your windows to the latest version. Once again, if you're using a lower version of windows, I would recommend you guys to upgrade your windows. And if you're using windows 11, follow these steps. First things first, go over to settings on your PC and once you are here go to the last option which is the windows update option in here you have to see if you are up to date if not you can click on check for update and let it run for a while this will tell you if you have any pending updates on your windows and updating your windows will fix most of the bug issues which may be related to your internet connection as you can see right now i can see a windows defender upgrade as well as the security intelligence update and once it is done you can see i am all up to date step number four is disabling your startup applications and you can do it from your settings as well just search for startup applications on your pc and then you will be over here now you will find a list of all of the applications which are on your pc so the applications which are on over here will start with the boot of your pc and i would recommend you guys to keep it as low as possible since it consumes a lot of memory and it also impacts the network in the background so I would recommend you guys to turn most of them off which you do not require. Step number 5 is updating your Ethernet or Wi-Fi drivers if you have it on your PC and for that you need to go to devices manager that is on your PC and in here you will go to the network adopters and then your Ethernet controller. It could be a Wi-Fi controller or an Ethernet controller. What you need to do is click on this button which is the update device driver click on here and go to search automatically for the drivers. It will automatically update your latest drivers for your device. Then click on close and close device manager. Step number six is using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of internet problems on your PC and it is used by most of the pros out there so you can trust on it. You can simply go to the link in the description below and get exit lag for three days free. Now once you open up exit lag it should look like this. What exit lag basically does is it tunnels your computer's internet to the game servers directly without any interference or hindrance, resulting in lowering ping, lowering packet loss and much more. So to enable it, click on exit lag button over here and that should start working on your PC. Right after that, you will find a list here with over 250 games to choose from. You can simply search for Fortnite over here and add it with your game region. The nearest region to me is AE the way 01 so I am going to apply that and as you can see it will give me an estimated 32 or 33 ping. Then click on apply routes and Fortnite will be added right to the list. Right after that go to the tools section, go to FPS boost, disable the first, third, fourth, fifth and second last option and you are good to go. This 
will improve your FPS as well as network connection and I would highly recommend you guys to get exit lag because of the features. Once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription for using it but if you have tried and tested it and it's giving you a worthy performance you can go with a 1 month 12 month or 6 month subscription at flat 44% off and if you go to the link in the description below you can get an additional 10% off to your membership and once again it's really great so I would recommend you guys to go and get it for yourself and see the results. Next step is creating a restore point as this is really really beneficial and essential for the next upcoming steps and for that you need to click on create a restore point on your PC and then go over to system protection. Select your local disk C, click on create and name it Fortnite. Then simply click on create. It will take a while but once it's done, you will be on a safer side for the upcoming settings. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Now, the next step is interfering with your Windows Defender firewall. For that, you need to search for firewall on your PC. Now, once you are in your firewall and network protection, go to allow an app through firewall and this window will open right in front of you. Click on change settings and then click on allow another app. Go to browse and then go to the install location of Fortnite. Once you have found your install location, you can add the Fortnite launch then click on add if it's not already added it will be added right away make sure to click on both private and public and then click on allow another app go to browse now add the win64 shipping EAC click on open click on add and then click on both of them once again now click another app click on browse then select the win64 shipping BE click on open click on add and then add this one as well now once again Last time, you need to go to the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe and make sure you do not miss this one as this is the main one out of all of them. Click on open, click on add and make sure to enable both of them. This will help you to significantly drop your and allow your game to control your internet according. Next step is using optimal DNS server. For most of you guys, this step might be missing so make sure to do it. Go over to your control panel and then in the network and internet, network and sharing center, click on your ethernet or Wi-Fi, and this window will pop up. Go to properties, now select the internet protocol version 4, double click on it and this window will open right in front of you. Now make sure to click on use the following custom DNS server and use 8.8.8.8 and alternate should be 8.8.4.4. These are the Google DNS server and if it's not over there, there might be chances that your windows are using the optimal ones which are not this one and this could result in higher ping or packet loss. So if it's not already done on your PC, make sure to do it and click on OK. Then click on OK once again, once again go to properties, click on configure and then go to power management. Make sure that all three of these options are unchecked because if your computer is using a lot of internet, there might be chances that your power supply will automatically turn this device off and you might be facing stuttering and other issues related to your game. So make sure to turn off all of these and click on OK and close the ethernet status. Last and not the least is the Fortnite Network Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. I've customized this pack for each one of you out there so you can use it and improve your input delay as well as fix a lot of your network problems. You can simply download and open it up and it has 4 registry files and 1 batch file. And if you are wondering what is inside, you can click and open with notepad. As you can see, these files disable your biometric services, windows font cache and other unnecessary services on your PC that you do not really require but it uses memory in the background so these are disabled with this one similarly all four of them does some tasks to improve your PC's performance so you can double click to run all of them lastly is the useful batch file and if I show you what this file does and these are all the settings that your PC is going to change and it will improve your internet performance as well as your PC's performance drastically so make sure to do it and you need to run this as administrator and it will do all of the following settings once you're done with all of these you can drop into your game and check your PC's performance if your internet problems are solved do leave a comments if you're facing any kind of issues once again get in touch with me on my discord server or in the comment section and i'll be replying to you and with all this said we are at the end of our video we'll see you in another one until then stay tuned keep watching by fox and peace out